So here we are today at the village of Grand Traverse Commons. This used to be the home to the Traverse City State Psychiatric Hospital. It was built in 1884. So today's trail is a little bit different. It's more of a tour of the uh, inside of the buildings, including a couple of the buildings that have not been restored and through the tunnels that are underneath the buildings. I'm mostly gonna do some voiceover on this while I give you a tour. It wasn't until we were about halfway through the tour that they asked that we did not record audio from the tour guide for privacy reasons. So I'll narrate you through the tour um, and a little bit of what I consider a different kind of trail here in uh, Trevor City. The tour of the Traverse City State Hospital covers areas inside and outside of the historic site. The main structure at 300,000 square feet is almost a quarter mile long and 70 feet tall. It served 39 counties in northern Michigan and the Upper Peninsula. The tour gives participants an in-depth history of the interactions of the patients, staff, doctors, and local residents. Pictures just outside the tour office provide a wonderful depiction of life at the hospital. Outside of the main building, you'll get a great appreciation for the architecture of the Victorian Italianate building that was constructed with 8 million bricks from a local brickyard. The tour guide paints a picture of how important natural light and big porches for fresh air were to the design of the building. <music> While many of the buildings on the sprawling grounds have been renovated, there are a number that have not been. We toured one such building that, while fun when functioning, housed the most severely mentally impaired patients. It really is amazing that this building, with its dilapidated walls, unsafe staircases, debris-filled rooms, and cracked and broken brick, represented all of the buildings and what they looked like before all the renovations began. The final leg of the tour was spent in the famous tunnels under the buildings. The tunnels were part of the ventilation system that was used to heat and cool the buildings in concert with the large fan system and the spires at the top of the buildings. It was a well spent two hours learning about the history of this beautiful asset in Traverse City. The last thing I wanted to show you at Grand Traverse Common is a series of trails that go behind the buildings and out towards the west side. I'm standing in front of the entrance to the trails out by the historic barn park. The historic barn park includes a pavilion for rental, a shop to buy certain little souvenirs in, and also the historic barns. There's also community gardens. The historic barns are here from the time when the patients at the former state psychiatric hospital used to take care of animals, grow their own food. It was a self-sustaining hospital. The trails go in and out through the woods. Uh, there are different levels of difficulty. Um, I have been out here myself in the winter and have snowshoed the trails. Um, there are various points at the very top of the hills where you get to see the entire Traverse City downtown area and the bays. So it is really worth your time to come out and explore the trails. Uh, here is a map of the trails. You can get access to the trails here at the Historic Barnes Park. And there are also entrances by Earth and Ales and the Pilates Studio by the main campus and buildings and off of a couple other roads going towards Munson Hospital.